Welcome back, wrestling fans, to the APW Garage here in Hayward, California. I am the fight articulator, Nick Aragon, joined by... And I'm Jerm from BayAreaWrestling.com. Mm, excuse me. Nick, could you ask for a better tag team match than the one we have tonight as our main event? Oh, this is going to be a great main event. It's a two out of three falls, from what I'm told. And uh, one hour time limit, this is going to be amazing. Look at the four competitors in here. We have Chad Collier, former WWE developmental superstar. Bobby Quantz, who's the APW Universal Heavyweight Champion. Nikki and Melissa, two of the best women in all of independent professional wrestling in the States and in Japan. Yeah, these four can really go. This is going to be great. Is there some kind of rule in this match where females can't fight males? I hope not, because I'd love to see Chad Collier against Nikki or Bobby against Melissa. APW women are no ordinary women, you know. The two women are going to start off this matchup. Melissa and Nikki are not strangers in the ring, I'll tell you that much. Long line of history between these two. Two of the top women in the United States today here in the ring at the same time. This is going to be great. Melissa backs Nikki up into the ropes. Well, watch out for the chop or something here. Cheap shot, no. We haven't seen Chad Collier here at the APW Garage in almost a year now. Pacifica was the last time. He's a great wrestler. If you, if you guys haven't seen him yet, you gotta wait till he gets in there. He can really go. Last time we saw Chad Collier, I believe it was in Pacifica against American Dragon in a four-man tournament for the APW Universal Heavyweight Championship that Robert Thompson ended up winning. Headlock takedown by Melissa. Nikki looking for the head scissors, not happening though. So best two out of three falls, they say. Is that right? That's right. Nikki is not letting go of that head scissors. Oh, Melissa able to slip out. Man, you're, you're right. These two are no strangers to each other. They know every, every weakness and every strength that each other has. Stare down. Both thinking about tagging? I'm not, not sure if him does. I'm not sure if Quant has ever been in the ring with Chad Collier. Yeah, I don't believe so either. Go behind by Melissa here. Oh, nice. I think Nikki's pulling a little bit of hair there. No love lost. Nikki might be the favorite here amongst the fans, but that doesn't mean that she won't break the rules. She's not afraid to break the rules when she has to. Melissa wants to go at Bobby Quant. What is it? They almost... What? They almost match a little bit there. You think they shop at the same store? <laughs> They're kind of like the wrestling version of Sonny and Cher. <laughs> Go behind by Bobby here. The APW Universal Heavyweight Champion. Oh. 
Didn't think Melissa was going to be able to break that hold there. Look how quick Bobby is. Look at Melissa go at it. Oh, wow. Wow, uh, look at this. Some promotions won't even let their women in the ring with the men. Look at this. Melissa just tearing Bobby up. She might have worn her. Ooh, watch out, man. She might have worn herself a one-on-one -on -one shot for that Universal Championship maybe someday. That would be interesting to have a female Universal Champion. And if anybody has the talent to do it, it's Melissa. Those kicks. Wants with the arm by there. Melissa was able to make it to the ropes before he was able to pull that arm out of its socket. She's got to make the tag into Chad. No. She wants to stick it out some more and go with Bobby. Maybe that's what she's trying to do. Prove that she deserves an APW Universal Heavyweight Championship shot. Five minutes down. Five minutes. Back in comes Nikki now that Bobby Quantz is taking care of Melissa. I heard Chad Collier say he's begging to get in the ring. I don't think he cares. He wants to get in there with Nikki or Bobby. I don't think he even cares. Well, he's worried about his team already taking one fall. Melissa's been in there for quite a while. She's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, she doesn't want to go down one to nothing without even letting Collier get a chance to get in the ring and show what he's got. Out. Ah, Nikki's not letting her get to the ropes. Nikki was waiting for the last second to grab her arms. Just wanted to make it that much more bad that she couldn't get to the ropes. Oh, able to get an arm free forced to break the hole, so you got to be careful so she doesn't get up and get to Chad. This is her chance to make the tag right here. No, she's not gonna. The wheel's got to be turning in Chad's head. Oh, there it is. There we go. I showed you how tough Melissa is. She wanted to go another round with Nikki, but she also played it smart and knew that she had to get Collier, the fresh man, in the ring. Chad was giving Nikki a chance to, to tag out the Quants. I don't think Collier understands uh, the wrestling ability Nikki possesses. <laughs> Collier reminds me a lot of Dean Malenko. He's got the same build, got the same size, he wrestles the same style. Yeah, Chad's got a lot of ability, but I don't think anybody ever had the ability Dean Malenko had. Test of strength here, Chad. Think he gonna trick Nikki into it? Chad definitely has the experience advantage. Oh. And she's able to hold on to the arm of Chad Call you there. You know, a lot of outsiders come into the APW garage and wrestle gym wars and they take Nikki and Melissa lightly. Like there are other females from other promotions, some females you should take lightly, not these two. I hope Collier is not doing that because he'll get tricked in a big way and Nikki could escape with a victory right here. Great fireman's carry into the armbar there by Collier, but Nikki's able to get back up. Is she going to be able to get that leg out? Oh. Wrenching that knee there, Collier. Wow, nice reversal. He got out of into it. the ankle lock, but Nikki right into the ropes when he rolled her over. Hey, 
Here we go. Oh, a real tough guy. Just straight from the woman. Ah! <laughs> Obvious advantage here for Collier. <laughs> Look how fast Nikki is. That was close. Paul here getting a little upset there. Like I said, I don't think Collier, Collier took Nikki as serious as he should have. Maybe he's going to start now. Well, I see a, a little temper there from Chad Collier. Temper, temper there. Oh, he wants another go at Nikki. He doesn't want to see Bobby yet. He wants to see if he's got what it takes to put Nikki down on the mat. He's got to simmer down. Simmer down. Collier's getting mad. And now with these fans behind him, look at him. He's really frustrated. Chad Collier's face looks like it's turning red as his tights. <laughs> Nikki gets a taste of bone medicine there. Ten minutes down. Ten minutes. Back comes Melissa. Working on that left arm of Nikki now are Collier and Melissa. Bobby Quantz itching to get back in the ring. Nikki's been in there way too long. She needs to go make the tag to Bobby. Do whatever it takes to get over to Quantz right now. Still no falls in this matchup. Two out of three falls, one hour time limit. We just saw a draw between B-Boy and James Choi for the APW Internet Championship. That went 20 minutes. What a great wrestling match that was. This one has the makings of a great one also. See the intensity from Nikki. Oh, that drop kicked her right in the chest. She was asking for that one. Oh, now's her chance. There she goes. The intensity from Nikki is the same. She probably learned that from Robert Thompson. We're going to see Collier and Quantz now, one on one. I've been waiting for this. Collier's got a complaint about some of the fans at ringside, it seems. And Bobby's taking exception to it. Those are his fans. Fans really getting the chat here. Got some Chad Collier fans, got some Bobby Quantz fans. Everybody's into this match. I think everybody just wants to see these two wrestle. First time they've locked up. Wow! Collier. Look at the speed. I couldn't imagine doing that in slow motion. This guy's so fast and such a great wrestler. And Bobby actually escaped it. I can't believe these guys. Look at these two shooting on each other. Bobby Quantz is matching speed with Chad Collier. It's a good matchup. It's almost like a shoe matchup. Reminds you a lot of uh, Dean Malenko and Eddie Guerrero's last match in ECW. The way they shot on each other for 20 minutes during that match. Collier just using uh, momentum to get Bobby Quantz off him. Look at Quantz. Persistent and resilient on that, uh, that hammerlock and that hold. 
call your feints the elbow and able to get around to the headlock. Quance tries to trip him up. Oh. Look at the action. You know, each team is very interesting. Each team in this match have been sort of wrestling this match like it's a one-on-one. -on -one. We got Collier against Quance. Earlier we had Collier against Nikki. No one's using teamwork. I want to see some double teaming. I think whoever comes in and uh, gets some, some double teamwork together, they might have the advantage in this match. That double, the double teaming is not legal though, James. No, oh, well, for a couple seconds they can do it. That's, that's immoral wrestling, James. Oh. Oh. oh, so fast. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Knee right in the elbow. 15 minutes down, still no score here. That's two out of three falls. Still no falls in this matchup. Who's gonna get the first one? Chad Collier telling the fans he's the man. He's proven it with his wrestling too. Ah, here's some teamwork that I wanted to see. Both Chad and Melissa are going to work on that left arm of Bobby Kwan. Big chop by Bobby. He's got to get out of there and make the tag. He's been in there for a while. Kwan with another chop. Melissa with one of her own. Chad Collier seems to be really distracted by the fans at ringside. That may be the downfall. Just like we saw Steve Rosano distracted by the fans earlier in the night lose the match for his team. I hope that doesn't happen to Collier. He needs to keep his head in the game. Yeah, that's a bad corner to be in. Oh! You got it locked on, look at that! Oh, and there's your first fall! Melissa submitted! Quads and Nikki take a one to nothing lead. The match is still going. No break between falls. Northern Light Suplex is to be the second fall. Wow, they're one second away from winning the entire match. All they need is one more fall. It's really put Melissa and Chad Collier in a tough position as they need to now come back and win two straight falls if they expect to win this thing. He's going back to work on that same arm. Bobby Quant put, put her in the arm bar with to make her submit. I know that's a weakness now. They know how they can get her. They just gotta keep working on it. Chad Collier's gotta find a way to get back in that ring. Oh, she slammed her right on her arm. Nikki wrestling such a smart match, working on that same left arm that wants. Collier. Wow, two count. <laughs> Collier says he almost got her right in the face. Now Collier just put Melissa's foot on the bottom rope. He's trying to do what he's got to do to, to, to save himself for this matchup. Melissa's in a very bad uh, situation right now. If Melissa could just get away from Nikki for one second, or now Bobby Kwan, if she could just get away from one second, 
you can get over there and make the tag and we might have a whole new match. He's in a very liable situation to submit again. Great headlock takedown there. Collier, come, Collier comes in trying to break up the hold, but it took him two kicks to get Bobby Quantz to let go. Right now, the team of Bobby Quantz and Nikki are running on all cylinders. They look really good. Quantz and Melissa are in a bad spot. I mean, excuse me, Collier and Melissa. Look at the suplex, still holds on to the arm. Bobby Kwan, so young, but so quickly becoming a master of this game. Melissa able to keep up, but Quantz is still holding on to that arm. He will not let go. Off into the ropes. Wow, nice move by Bobby Quantz. This could be it. Chad very wisely gets in the ring, breaking up the count. That could have very well been it. That's the first time I've ever seen a maneuver like that. Bobby Quantz is almost like a, a spinning belly to back suplex. The guy is an innovator. He comes up with a lot of things I've never seen before. It's about 20 minutes gone in this match now. Well, I'd say about 25. <laughs> Irish whip reversed by Melissa. Oh, oh, Melissa met Nikki's boot and then turned around and drop kicked Nikki right in the stomach as she came off the ropes. Great reversal there by Melissa. Quick thinking. One well, of these girls, easy. they got to get to their corner. Yep. Melissa seems to be, well, they're about the same size uh, far apart now. Looks like Melissa's getting a little closer now. Nikki's got to make that tag. Who's going to go first? All right, tag at the same time. Call, call your get the tag first. She did tag. Nikki made the tag. You got Collier and Quants in here now. Exchange of forearms here in the middle of the ring by Quants and Collier. Collier's got to pull something out here for his team. Oh, big time suplex. This could be it right here. Oh, Quantz, very close. Got to be careful there. Carter needs to slow down the pace. Great suplex with the float over on the butterfly. His team was in control for so long, he can't get in there and get too excited. He needs to slow the pace down. Scoop and a slam there from Collier. Misses the big elbow. Quantz, I, he must have he barely missed that by like an inch. Collier gets shot off. Nope. Oh, he's pinning him. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was it. We've wow. Seen, we've seen Quantz finish people off of that maneuver before. Thought that was it. So close. They know they can get Melissa to tap with the left arm. Bobby's wondering how he's going to get this guy out. Chad Collier is very tough. Oh, a big chop. Oh, yeah, Collier's tough. In comes Nikki now. Found the opening he was looking for. Wraps Nikki up. She's got her arms pulling back on her. Quantz. Quantz comes in and gets a little revenge on Collier. Collier did that to Quantz a few times. 
In comes Melissa again. Now we got both women in the ring. Melissa now working on that left shoulder of Nikki. If anybody knows Nikki's weaknesses, it's Melissa. She needs to come with something right now if they expect to get back in this match. Big snap suplex there. Might be a wise decision to go after the knee of uh, Nikki. If you remember not too long ago, I think it was a few months ago, she inter injured her knee pretty badly from a James Watkins suplex. That's right. Maybe Melissa forgot about that. They seem to not be working on the knee. Working on the upper body now. Nikki gets shot off into the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Hangs on to the ropes. Wow, these girls know each other's every move. Nikki goes straight after that leg. She's got to go after that arm of Melissa's. She's got to find a way to possibly bridge back. Watch out for Chad. Oh, look at this. She's going to turn her over. Look at that. Watch out for Chad Collier. Oh, wow. That was almost over. I don't know how she rolled out of that. Amazing pin by Nikki there. Roll up here. Oh, she got her down. That ties it up. Score is tied 1-1. Look at Chad. He just won't... For some reason, Chad has a thing about kicking Nikki while she's down. Maybe he is a, he's a very moral competitor. Look at this. He's got no problem with stretching her like this. 25 minutes down. 25 minutes. So we got 35 minutes left for one more fall. It's anybody's contest now that Collier and Melissa have come back to tie the score one to one. Paul, you're trying to bring her over for a pin. <laughs> Gotta watch your shoulders. <laughs> Neck breaker. Paul, <laughs> you're so confident and cocky now. In comes Swans. Melissa now. Nikki's got to use this chance to get the quant. Oh, she doesn't. Wow. Good move, but I think a smarter move would have been to tag in Bobby Quant. That's what she needs to do. For sure, for sure. That German took a lot out of Melissa. And it took a lot out of Nikki. She had to bridge with it, and I think she hurt her neck because she's holding her neck. And she bridged with the German suplex. Might have given her a sore neck at the back of her head. She's holding it. Now she really needs to Quans get out is of right there. there. Get the tag. Oh, just missed. You know, this could be it now. Nikki's in there. She looks like she's got a hurt neck. She looks like she's just blown up. This could be it. Fisherman suplex. Oh, rope break. That would be amazing if Melissa and Chad Collier came back to take two straight falls and win this entire thing. Well, it looks that way right now as Nikki's unable to make a tag. Another fisherman suplex here. No. Oh. Nikki, one of the toughest competitors in APW, showing you why right now. Just when you think she's out, she comes back with something like that to even the playing field. She's got to get over to Bobby. Fans want to see a tag. Bobby's aching to get in. You see him shaking over there with anticipation. 
Here tag it is. is a tag to Bobby Quantz and to Chad Collier. Oh, wow. Two fresh men in. Oh, but Collier, he shut this crowd up. Everybody thought Bobby was going to come back. Collier shutting them all up, though. Look at this. Oh, Tiger Bomb. Wow, we talked about Dean Malenko earlier. He's going for the Texas Cloverleaf. Read my mind. On Nikki now. This doesn't count, though. What's he messing with Nikki for? He needs to focus on Bobby. Oh no. Shooting star press. Slam Collier down into the corner. That's usually what you see here. Oh no. Melissa crushes Bobby up on the top rope. Yo, what's Melissa going to do? Look at this. Oh, top rope, Hurricane Rana, Frankenstein. Look at Collier, go, go for the pin. That's it. No. Oh. Nikki, got, oh, she just got tossed right onto that cement floor out there. The two men are the two legal men in the ring. Oh, he locked him up. Look at that. How did Quant land on his car? You're going to tap out? Melissa needs to make the save, but Nikki's holding her foot. She can't make the save. Oh, she's able to. So close. Did you see that spin kick, Jerms? How'd he land on his feet? Man, and then he locked on that submission hold, and Collier was about two seconds away from tapping out. German attempt, no. Back into the arm bar again. Things are breaking down here. Melissa and Nikki battling out in the war zone. Nope. Cloverleaf. Nikki is getting He's thrown into the applied. pile. Collier's got it applied. Nikki's out in the war zone. She just got thrown into a bunch of chairs. That's it. And Bobby just tapped out to the Texas Cloverleaf, courtesy of Chad Collier. What an excellent matchup. Your winners, Melissa and Chad Collier. Amazing matchup. Can you believe they came back two straight falls and won the match? What an amazing night here at Gym Wars, I'll tell you that, Jim. We saw some great matches. This main event right here is totally off the charts. Uh, we saw a 20-minute draw between B-Boy and James Choi. What a great night for APW's Gym Wars, you're right. Fans giving these guys a standing ovation. They deserve it. Well, I want to thank everybody who joined us here at APW here in Hayward, California at the world-famous Garage. Thanks, Germs, for joining up, me up here next to the ring for commentary. And I want to thank everybody for stopping by www.allprowrestling.com. Check out the merchandise and also check out www.bayareawrestling.com. If there's anything left to say, Germs, you say it. Just what a great night of wrestling action. I was happy to be here at Jim Wars. Thanks, Nick. It was a pleasure. Bayareawrestling.com, allprowrestling.com if you want to learn about it. APW, any other wrestling promotions in the Bay Area, that's the place to go. Good night, everybody.